Alrighty guys, what's going on? Shell's back again. Here we are coming towards the business end of the season here in our second season. It is Manchester United career mode, football manager 20. And we've a big game today against Borussia Dortmund or better known as BVB as what the Twitter handle is. Anyway guys, so what's been happening since we guys were last here? So, um, did I do the... Yeah, okay, so it's the, I was for which game it was it's against last year, but we played Sheffield, uh, Sheffield United, I nearly called them Sheffield Wednesday, that would be awkward because that's not what they are in the league, and we got a good result here, it was a 3-0 win, I, I was happy with the result here, I think we were the better team from, from start to finish, Jack O'Connell passed it around to Martial's feet and really does the damage there, it was a, it was a frustrating first half because we had chances, but uh, we weren't able to put them away in the second half, that, that changed pretty much. In the 70th minute here, Juan Bissaka, De La Feo, that made it 2-0. That pretty much, you know, signed, sealed, and delivered the victory for us, which is exactly what we needed. Then Pogba, the interception over the top for Martial, and this was to make it three, and that was officially the three points stamped up for us. Lovely, so that was a nice win to get off. Better side by the stats, 26 shots to nine, 12 shots on target to three, three chances to there, none. So yeah, pretty, pretty convincing win. Then Europa League action. We hosted Leicester at home and it was a little bit, you know, a little bit feeling tight. You know, I didn't feel confident after after the early Manic goal, but it came from a Madison cross, whips into Manic, our former player, of course, who we sold them for pennies and rubles, pretty much. Um, we got back in, Gerald De La Feu here, lovely bit of play into Vlahovic, who slots it away into the corner to make it 1-1 before half time. And then right after the half, immediately answered. Lovely design play here. Brandon Williams. I don't know who, which of the assistant coaches designed it. But just a fantastic play there from Brandon Williams. And a brilliant, brilliant finish to go 2-1 up. Of course, we tied the home or the away leg 2-2. So we did have the advantage. It was 1-1. But the 2-1, that really just put the game to bed. I mean, if they did score, it would have gone to extra time. But you know, I was pretty confident with, with, with the guys. We then played at Tottenham in the league. This was a frustrating game. It was... It, we didn't look good. I mean, any time a goalkeeper in Football Manager gets gets player of, the, player of the match, you know it's a tough one. So yeah, we did struggle. It was a Martial penalty eventually in the 60th minute, but I felt like we were the better team that entire way. I, I was a bit annoyed, as you see. The shots, you know, we had nine targets to their four. In total, we had six chances to their two, so we were definitely better side, but it, they were just really difficult to, to play against. We didn't really you know, have our shooting boots on. Unfortunately, the FA Cup, our, uh, our run ended. Uh, we gave it a good crack, but in the end, it was Manchester City's Erling Haaland who decided to to knock us out, really. It was a close game. It was three chances to two in the stats. We played well, but at the end, just unfortunately, Guardiola, or not Guardiola, pardon me, it was the Harry Maguire out there at centre-back. It just gets absolutely beaten like a just, just terrible defence. And then finally, West Ham, or oh Jesus Christ, West Brom. Oh, I always make a mistake like that. I hate when I do that. This was, again, another example of playing well, but not executing at the highest level. And it seems to be the issue that we have, that we're just maybe one or two star players off from being a, a contender side. And I started off there with, I think it's Andrew Ayu, Andre Ayu, with a, an early goal. But Thanguis with the corner finds Mason Greenwood in the 70th minute. That got us to 1-1. And then 87th minute, 45 seconds later, finally we got the winner. And yeah, we were the better team that game. We deserve to take all three points. I think getting one from that game would have been unjust. Pogba does a bit of an injury at the moment, so he's just returning back from international duty that. Uh, I had to take Martial off due to an injury as well. So hopefully they'll be back. Sanguis, of course, been out for three weeks prior to that, so... It's good to get him back to full fitness. So today we're playing against uh, Borussia Dortmund. Heck of a game. This is going to be really going to be the you know the game for us to win. Um, we are favourites, but only slightly. This is going to be a tough game. I feel like we need to get a win here. We we can't afford to go uh, to Borussia Dortmund without, I think, a one or two goal cushion. I think we have to get that today. So uh, yeah, let's crack into this one. It's going to be, this is going to be the team. As you can see, pretty pretty strong team. I'm really happy with it. I'm going to go with Bruno Fernandes in this cam position. I haven't utilized this very much, but we are going to rock with this today. 
I think it could be a difference maker, and hopefully it will get us the result. But, you know, we're just going to have to see, really. Um, JCT actually has picked up a bit of an injury. If you guys don't know who JCT is, that's Jean-Claire to Tob Ido. Uh, he's a little bit injured, so... Unfortunately, we can't do that. that's a heck of a team. Marco Royce up top, Sancho and Torgan Hazard on opening. Brands are through the middle. Thomas Delaney, Axel Witzel, that's a pretty good defensive midfield. Rafael Guerrero, Manuel Akanji, that's Hummels, and then Tal at right back. It's interesting signing. And then they got Pavlenka, who who does he play for in real life? He doesn't play for them normally, but they have a good team, I have to say. They got Otson and Edouard on the bench. That's a good team. Their normal left back should be there, but yeah, he's on the bench. Anyway. It's not about the guys passionate. This is a great opportunity, guys. Come on. You know, that type of, you know, we need to play well in this kind of game. First off, you know what? Uh, opposition instructions. Okay, right. Mark or Royce, tightly mark. I want to press him and I do want to tackle him hard. Um, bring my his foot, Jaden Sancho. Yes, yeah, so we need to tightly mark him. We have him a few rough and tough tackles since he did play for City after all. I have to do that against Torgan. Um, we'll tightly mark them. Brands more of a danger than I'll leave that. I want I'll let them force the attack down that side. But anyway, Thorgan Hazard picks an early yellow car. That's nice. Hopefully, he can uh, give him a few more tackles and hopefully, he uses his head and then we can get him sent off. So, two yellow cards early on for Borussia Dortmund. That's that's interesting. So, they're playing a bit dirty, but Dalla picks up a yellow card. I think he's suspended for the next game now. Unfortunately, that was kind of the risk I was. You know, running with playing him today, that does kind of mean I have to play him again at the weekend and, and, and bring Wan Bissaka in for the reserve fixture. But hey, that's that's the game. Easy, yeah, we need to take him off the tackles. Come on, just be a little bit more cautious, you know. Diego, Diego, Diogo. I'm going to call him Diego, Diogo, rather than the second name, which just doesn't make any sense to me at all. It sounds like a French name the way you pronounce it, but hey. What I'm going to say. Anyway, 30 minutes into this one. No highlights, but it's three shots apiece. We've had three on target. They've had none. No chances yet at all. So it is it's a tight game. This is the type of game I was expecting at this level. Um, so I don't really know what to say about the Bruno Fernandes experiment. Fifth card, yellow card of the season for Sandro Tonali. So yeah, they're dominating possession. That's That's not a good sign. Okay, interesting. So they're controlling the ball a lot. Right, let's search off. It's a great opportunity. Come on, lads. Hey, motivated. Sanquis under. Inspired. Yes, boys. Now, inspire goal for me. Come on. Well, after that busy start from Dortmund picking up two yellow cards, I haven't picked up any more since. We picked up two to, you know, even that one out. I think I'm going to go attacking. I feel like it's an attacking time. I feel like it's time to get a point. Go on, Marcel, get there. Oh, it's just a bit slow, unfortunately. Brandt, Fitzel, out to Thorgan. Tackle him, lads. Two foot him from behind if you have to, but just tackle him. Get on the ground. Thomas Delaney, somehow not an Irish man with that type of name. Don't know how that's possible, but anyway. All the way out to Atal. So it's all going to do. It's got space. Great tackle, Luke Shaw. That's a big tackle. Keeps us in this game. Come on, lads. Put the pressure on now. Don't give Torgan that space. Bitzel. Delaney, Brandt. I feel like there's something happening here. Sancho showing off. Wants, does he want to come to Old Trafford next season? Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. Who knows? Back post, thankfully, over the top from uh, from Jaden Sancho. Not the impression I was hoping to get from him, but I'm glad he didn't score. So well, that's one you know tick in the good book for him. 60 minute mark. I feel like we need to make a change. I think I might bring, I think this is have a game where Fred can come on and maybe just be a little bit better at that, you know, kind of support that role. Um, I think it's not Sally's fault, really. It's just, it's not really his game. I feel like I almost, I feel like I'm almost forced to play Greenwood or Delafeo on the wing for Sanguis because Sanguis is. Pretty tired, and he's pretty low on match sharpness, which is never a good sign. But Luke Shaw is also down, so mm, it's a bit tricky situation. I'll run it a bit more. Maybe it's the seventy minute mark, and we'll make the change then. But I'm hoping Fred can be can be the key to unlock this uh, this Dortmund defense. They've had so much possession. That's that's really been the problem. I think if we go to them, we're gonna have to play a, a possession game. Anyway, here comes the attack. It's the feet of Fred. Fred, lovely through kick. 
He finds Rashford on the rebound. Rashi, go on, Rashi. Look for Seguis. Go yourself, Rashford. Oh, my. Pavlenka with the save. That could have been the game. That could have been the important winner. We go to the corner. Seguis, go on. Seguis can't get it in. Pogba, get out to Seguis again. Seguis, he's having an absolutely brilliant second half of the season. Finds Rashford. Rashford, give it to Fred. Why? Not the guy you want in there. Bruno, that's the guy you want to shoot. Shoot at Bruno. Oh, Bruno. Bruno, Bruno. Come on. Terrible highlight from us there in the end. That that just that never materialized. Right, we're gonna make a change. I feel like for the I feel like I have to let him in. You know what? I'm gonna make I'll make uh, yeah, we're gonna make this change. We're gonna bring Greenwood on. And we're gonna go to a front three. Aggressive, but it's the type of aggression we have to show. Um I'm happy with them as deep lying forwards. I don't want them crowding it too much. And where's Luke Shaw's? It just doesn't have it reading the legs at the moment. I don't know, I don't know what's wrong with him. Maybe I've played him too much this season. Who knows? But that is that's three sub we're we're gonna make today. Hopefully that will inspire us to something. But I'm not gonna you know bet anything on it here. I feel like this is a, this has got nil nil written all over it. I mean, Jose Dortmund they've come with a plan here obviously, and they're executing it quite well. So fair play to them for for coming up with that. They bring on a Drissy who. I think I recognise, but I don't know why. Maybe he played... Oh, yeah, he played for AZ, didn't he? Anyway, Fred, Bruno, Frashford, Bruno. Lovely ball in for Martial. Can he find support? Finds the support in Guardiol. Guardiol back post. Couldn't quite find it. False for Bruno. Vance Guardiol. It's into Rashford. Guardiol. Pogba. Guardiol. Pogba. Finds Rashford. This is it. Has to score. How does he not score that? It's still alive. It's still alive. Marcia. Oh, it's going to VAR. <laughs> oh, this is this is tight. It's not the actual goal they're reviewing. It's ooh, I think he's just off. He is. Oh, what a goal that would have been. That would that would have, that was brilliant. I felt like I was I was kind of doing a horse race there, you know, with the the way they go on about things. But anyway. Lads, could that be it? I mean, that could have changed the game completely when we go to Dortmund next week. I mean, I might play five at the back next week at Dortmund just to piss them off, but I suppose we'll have to see with that. Doesn't look like we're going to get the results here, unfortunately, today. Wasn't meant to be, was it? 16 shots to 11. We had 10 on targets there. Three, three chances there, two overall. The possession thing I'm very surprised with. That is, that's a big shock for me. Uh, I'm going to have to come up with something next week. I think we're after the tactics to play against them. I mean... Maybe we go to them and play a, a gag and press, or maybe we even go and play a, a possession game just to, to control that. They're probably the better average rating as well, which is a bit frustrating. Look at their defense. I mean, look at that. All greens. Greens from Bayi, greens from Pogba. So it wasn't the best result. But uh, yeah, look, we'll move on. That form to show me there for we train hard tomorrow. Exactly. They'll be running on that pitch tomorrow. Not happy with that result, lads. Not good enough. Should have been better. Yeah, but unfortunately, it's just not good enough. Martial still hasn't been, been brought up to the squad. I mean, look look at his Premier League stats. 30 games, 23 goals, 3 assists. Enough said. He should be starting for France, okay? End rant. But anyway, let's look at the Premier League table for you guys so you guys can see what is happening in the Premier League at the moment. As you can see, Liverpool walking away with the title again. We are getting close to City. I don't think we can beat... I don't think we have City left on the table, but hey, look, I'll... I'll take that as a positive if we can if we can track them down. I think that would show us that you know we're we're, we're going the right direction. But I still think I'm starting to look at making what moves we need to make to next season. I think we do I just struggle to find the person to buy. That's the issue. But look, we'll 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 see what's available and we'll we'll make the moves that way. But I think finishing third this season, it'll be a positive. But you know, if it, if we don't finish third, well there's nothing much you can do about it. As long as we call for Champions League spots, I'll be happy. There's a big gap now to Brighton, so I suppose, you know, we're we're in the right position. Okay, let's have a look at the schedule, guys, so I can see where I'll come back for you guys. You know, it, it could, depending how this quarterfinal goes, could be potentially, we could be into the last episodes. Oh, we do play City. Oh, I'll come back for the Arsenal game, I think. We'll see. Uh, and hopefully we get through to to a semi final of the Europa League. I'd love to win the Europa League this season. That's that's the trophy I want to win. I want to get something to show, and then you know we can move on. But yeah, that's that's all we have time for today, guys.
Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys very, very soon. I hope you have a good day. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.